Hello, dear family. I set in on a seminar today about tax liens that I thought was very interesting. And I learned a couple of things that I wanted to share with you. And it could be a way for the family to pick up some money. So I learned that when homes are sold at auction for tax liens, all other encumbrances like lenders, whatever, those go away when the property sells. Of course, the lender has the right of redemption before the auction to go and pay that tax lien and then acquire the property, but a lot of lenders don't do this. I also found out that any overage, let's say that um, there's a property worth $200,000, let's say there is a tax lien at $10,000, anything more than $10,000 plus some, some average fees, the overage can be claimed by the original owner. Now, I don't have cool graphics, so let me give you a quick example of what that might look like. So let's say we have a home worth $200,000, and let's say that they owe three years of back taxes. In California, it's about 1.25% a year, which is about 2,500 a year. So in three years, that would be $7,500. Now, I'm not including any additional fees that might be added on there, but uh, the bottom line, and I can't quite see this. Oh, the, in, in California at these tax auctions, homes sell for 50 to 75% of value. So I'm just gonna use $70,000 right here. So 200,000 times 70% means that that home will sell for about $140,000. You subtract whatever's owed to the taxes, in this case, 7,500, and this amount down here, which is $132,500, is due back to the original owner of that home. Now, what's interesting about that, uh, in any state in the country, these this money goes back to the general fund. So none of the counties really are making a huge effort to find these people. And in different states, like in California, you have one year to redeem that overage. In Florida, I think it's like three years. It's usually one, three, or five years in different places in the country. Every state does this except Colorado, New York, and Michigan. So that leaves 47 other states where we have the potential of making money. So how do we do this? Well, the seminar wanted me to pay $1,500 for our course, which I'm not going to do because we, we're smart people. We can figure this out on our own. So basically what I did, I went to my county website, which happens to be Contra Costa County, and I pulled up results from the February auction. And you probably aren't going to be able to see this, uh, but over here in the right-hand corner, there's almost $900,000 of overages that need to be paid out to people. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna figure out who these people are. I'm gonna top, you know, look at uh, the top five or 10, and then I'm going to contact these people and say, hey, you have money waiting here for you. I can show you how to get it before your right of redemption expires, but I want a 30% finder's fee for this money. This is totally legal, by the way. And I see it as actually helping people because most people don't even know this money exists. The county doesn't want to make a huge effort finding these people because once that, that uh, period of time in California, it's a year expires, that money goes into the general fund. So the reason for this video is in your spare time, take a look at your county websites in the states in which you live See what's out there. See what your uh, tax overage, uh, tax proceed overages look like. And if it looks like something we want to pursue as as a family, we should definitely do that. Now, of this eight hundred thousand dollars potentially here, that's a potential two hundred and forty thousand if we're earning a three hundred thousand or a thirty percent finder's fee. I'm sure I'm not the only person to do this. I am sure that California is not the state to do it in, but I'm thinking states like Wyoming, Nevada, uh, oh gosh, Florida is, you can only charge a 12% max fee, but, but you know, Ohio, Kentucky, West Virginia, these all may be states where we can earn some money. The key to this is getting a list of the properties where overages are due 
Uh, and then setting up a system which we can do fairly easily, just an automated system where we send out a postcard and say, hey, your county may owe you money. Are you interested in finding out more information? We believe that you may be owed uh, approximately $40,000. We want a 30% finder's fee. For more information, go to our website. It seems, I believe it's, uh, it's, it's providing a service. I do feel that if we were to pursue a business like this, that we need to fully disclose to the, uh, to the recipient that they can do this on their own and, and fight all those county battles on their own, which they probably won't do because they didn't even know that they had this money due to them. It's just a thought, uh, just running it by you. Check out your county websites if you get a, if you get a chance. Uh, I've been Googling, what did I Google? I Googled excess tax proceeds, Contra Costa County, California. So you might Google excess tax proceeds, uh, Lawrence County, Ohio, or whatever it happens to be. So that's the scoop. Let me know if you have questions. Just uh, shoot me a, a message or comment and let me know what you think. And I want to buy a family compound in some amazing place like, I don't know, Buena Vista, Colorado, which is fabulous. Um, this is why we make money. This is the way we do it. Let me know what you think. Have a good evening.